Hello everyone and welcome back to Prestige Reef. Now there are three things that you need to be aware of before you start watching this video. The first is that this is not clickbait. The system behind me had an absolutely massive leak on it. The second is that the footage that was filmed, a lot of it was actually being sent to the person who designed the coral farm uh, in an effort to try and work out where the leak was coming from, which means it wasn't filmed for YouTube. So some of the video footage is a bit shaky, some of the audio is not going to, isn't brilliant at times, but obviously just bear with it. Um, and the third thing to be aware of is that there might be a few contingency issues as I've tried to use those videos to show you what happened. Anyway, um, I suppose the, the, we might as well just get straight into it. Right, so what I've done is I've lowered, I've turned all the pumps off to see if it's coming from one of the pumps to see if it stops leaking. Um, I've noticed that it's really wet here all the way to there although it's not it isn't come, you can see there it's dry next to it which means it's almost like it's soaked into the tank it, into the the wood it's not like it's come that way and then so i originally noticed the leak here and then i noticed that it's leaking obviously a lot uh i can't really get it there is now it's dripping into the tank below a little bit you can see there's salt all over there. It's a bit dark, I can't really show you. And then, um, down here, you can see it's all got salt, and I think some of it's obviously dripping one way. You can see it's got water on here. Some of it's dripping one way, and some of it's dripping another way. But it's all wet there. But the worst of it is, is coming from that section up there. Now, I eventually worked out uh, by turning everything off that it seems that it is the sump, uh, which is part of it is acrylic, part of it is glass, and then one of these connections has failed because once I drain the sump, it stopped leaking. So what I need to do now is re-silicon those three connections. I will do it on both sides. I have no idea how I'm going to be able to do it uh, because silicon requires the glass to be very dry and very clean. And as you can see, it is neither of those things. Right now, in a situation where it is literally the worst case scenario, this is when you want to have people to rely on basically. Um, I can't mess around because I haven't got much back from my phone and I obviously need to get this sorted. I've stopped the leak, but what I've done is I've contacted the manager of Maidenhead Littlehampton, who also is the owner of Pollock Pros. Basically have said, look, I'm desperately needing help, red alert, please help me out. And um, he's going to open the shop despite the fact it is uh, Sunday at 7 o'clock at night. So I think the shop closes at 4. So um, he's at home and he's going to meet me there. So wish me luck. <laughs> so I genuinely don't know how this is going to go there's like there's literally thousands of pounds of coral in there um the other option is to take the water from that system and basically refill the red sea tank and just have the trays up for all the coral stacked on top of that until i can sort it out um tomorrow but um yeah this is not what i wanted to be doing Right, so if anyone's ever wondered, you know, what a fish store looks like, you know, in the middle of the night, it's exactly the same as in the day, except with no customers. Right. And this is the legend that has helped me out. Uh, basically, if ever you need any help for anything, I'll put his personal number in the description box below and just harass him whenever you want. So, but look, genuinely, seriously, I couldn't thank you more for helping me out. So anyway, we gotta go. We got what we need, so see you later. Right now, I'm back from the shop. Um, I'll be honest with you, I don't even have the remotest idea if this is going to work. The plan is to basically squirt a load of this um, onto the top of the uh, uh, the connection but also uh, to use it on my finger so it'll look like I'll be giving someone a prostate exam. <laughs> I like how I've still got uh, uh, just some level of humour in probably the most stressful time of, uh, of my uh, coral farming career. Um, but uh, as you can see, it can be used underwater. So in theory, that means it doesn't need to be that dry. But we'll see. How many middle-aged men are starting to uh, 
to feel frightened uh, by this, uh, this image at the moment. Not sure why I'm using two fingers as well. Right, and now we've just discovered this new fun added feature, and that is that the wheel leaks. So this compartment, I need to try and get as clean and dry as possible. Uh, very slowly, the water is obviously leaking from the main tank, uh, which I was hoping to have off all night into this one. So, um, yeah. Although it doesn't look that clean, um, I think it's probably, I'll go for a little bit longer, but that's probably the best I'm gonna get it. Remember, this is only a temporary repair um, until someone come and, and properly repair it for me. The, so basically the aim is just to just literally cover it in silicon, all around the, where the old silicon is. And then, um, and hopefully that will do the job. You can see what I've done. Basically I, uh, I did what I promised and I have covered each of the, um, the tank connectors uh, in silicon, all the way around, even like a few inches away. So that hopefully that will seal them again. I'm not sure why they've gone. It's very late now. You can tell by my voice that I am properly fed up, but um, just I just got to wait for it to set now. And how long that is, I don't know. The thing I am not happy about is the fact that I am covered in the silicon. So um, and obviously that and uh, yes. Yeah, so um, I am about to go Google how to get this off, basically, because I have a feeling if I let it dry, I'm going to have a very unpleasant time. Right, it's now the next morning. Um, I'll be honest with you, I hardly slept. I've not even, you know, made myself look pretty for you because I want to get in there and see what it looks like. Um, I know that it was going well at three in the morning and four in the morning and five in the morning because I kept getting up to check. <laughs> but um, it's, uh, I will be very anxious until I actually put the system back on uh, because at the moment all the trays are still separate. Um, so uh, we shall see. Everything's still alive, so that's a good start. But um, I haven't actually looked into the into the th um, the sump yet. But uh, I'm happy. I'm happy that I'm happy the things are still swimming around. Let's put it that way. First thing you'll notice is that the water level is low on on these two tanks. That's because this system is separate now. Each tank is separated into individual tanks. So those two these two and the one there are all separate and the reason that is a concern for me is because there is no heater on these tanks at the moment uh, the fish seem to be okay the room in here is boiling uh, to keep the water warm so no, none of the corals appear to be stressed uh, you can see that the glass on the tank is slightly uh, dirty because uh, monday is the day i clean the glass and um, I wasn't expecting to be doing a video today, so you'll just have to, to bear with me. But um, the corals at the moment don't appear uh, to have any issues. But uh, I guess we should probably look in the, uh, the sump section to, um, to have a look to see um, if, the, if it's worked, basically. Before I check the sump, though, I wanted to uh, test the temperature of the water, and it's literally... Uh, it's not fallen at all because it's normally 25.5 degrees. So that tank's fine. Uh, let's have a quick look at this one. Same again. 25.7. So literally there's no reason to have heaters on these tanks essentially as long as the air conditioning's on hot enough. I have literally just one concern and that is that each system is not being dosed at the moment. So obviously there's a lot of corals in here. And although the, the dosing is still going on, it's all being dosed into that compartment. Now that compartment will eventually go down to the bottom where it'll mix with all the other water once the water gets turned on again. And then it should, in theory, um, the water should still be exactly the same as what, what it normally is. Um, but I didn't want to turn everything off because obviously then everything's gonna be out, out of sync. Right, so now it's the moment of truth. So, this, as you can see, this looks like it has dried. It mostly has dried. Um, I'm thinking about putting uh, another, I've got another tube of silicon. I just think, since the water's already drained, is there any harm in, um, in doing one more, 
one more just doubly make sure that it's okay. Right now, as you can see, the water's flowing again. Uh, the first thing I noticed was that the protein skimmer overflowed for a good few hours where it just was going absolutely crazy no matter what setting it was on. And there's sort of this like white scum layer here, which I wonder if that's part of the silicon drying process. So I will get that removed. Um, but all in all, so far, it all looks good because this was where the leak was, was worst and it doesn't appear to uh, be leaking at all anymore. And I've checked all the other areas that was leaking and there's no water. So all the corals are doing brilliantly still. So no issues, no issues there. Um, so all in all, it was basically the best I could ask for. Right, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoy watching my video. Please feel free to comment below if you have any questions. If you did enjoy it, why not click that like and subscribe button. As always, I just want to say a massive thank you for everyone that supports the channel on Patreon. Have a good week, and I'll see you next time.